This is Josiah Plays Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Here we are, we're doing conflicts of interest. We are in Prague, we're having a good time. And we're up on top of a little balcony uh, at this person's apartment. Drago, something Drago's apartment. Person who had a lot of painkillers, because apparently they have a lot of pain. We got some flags there. And there's a metro station. We have not been down in there yet, and we're not going to go in any metro stations yet, because that's what we need to do for the next part of the main story. And we're going to hold off on that. So we're going to... We're going to cruise around in Prague here a bit. And we're going to explore it. Ooh, a limb clinic. I'll bet I can get Praxis kits there. Heading that way. Um, we're going to explore Prague some... And do some side quests and stuff. Right now, side quest wise, we've got Odkar Botkavelli's Otar Botkavelli Underground Casino in the Chista District. That's a side quest we need to go do. And find the rave where Neon is being made or where Neon is being distributed or whatever. That's a side quest for us to do. And oh yeah, we can go back to Underground Richard and uh, handle that business as well. Pretty tempted to do that first, and by first I mean after I go to the limb clinic. Limb clinic seems like the place to go right now. I didn't even see it on the map before. I didn't even see that there was a limb clinic. There's a pharmacy with a shop there as well. So. Let's, um, there's the Bolzano Monument, a monument dedicated to Bernard Bolzano. I've never heard of Bernard Bolzano, a bohemian mathematician, logician, philosopher, theologian, and Catholic priest, known for his paper, The Paradoxes of the Infinite. Oh, that guy sounds cool. All right, let's, uh, Icarus the fuck off this roof. Icarus! Or not. Of course it's easy. Right? Alright, we talked to all those people. How about you? We've talked to you. Hey, I don't need this today. No handouts. Handouts? I thought the police were supposed to make sure you did not come around here during the day. That's pretty rude. It's pretty rude. You know, Augs have feelings, you know. Augs have feelings. Look at those Augs. I did some work for Seraph Industries before the incident. Yeah, so did I, bud. I got out before the bottom fell out of that industry. Guess That's you didn't have yet. much choice. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I didn't ask for this. Somebody's going, what? That was his Adam Jensen voice? That didn't sound anything like Adam Jensen. Fucking brand. Just got through another round of layoffs at the office. I think they've cut the workforce by 25% in the last two years. Still expect us to get all our projects completed on time, though. Yeah, ain't that the way it goes. Stop drinking coffee and talk to me. Most of the people I work with put in 14, 15-hour days, then go home and work a little more. Sometimes I feel like a peasant working for a tyrannical lord. Sounds rough. At least you have a job. Be thankful. Not another one. I'm not signing your petition. I don't have a petition. I don't want any more pamphlets from your church. Whatever you're selling, leave me out of it. Fine, why don't you stand there and eat your fruit? How does that sound? How about, who's this? What's up, civilian? Look at those hogs. I did some work for Seraph oh, Industries before the this incident. guy again. What's up, shop clerk? Come in, hey. Come in. Hey. You are still deciding. Come back later. No, I would like a delicious H2O boost, please. And a piece of fruit. Paying customers only. A customer, I... welcome. <laughs> Just leapt over his counter. And his response to that is, A customer, welcome. Nice. I'm just here to see if you have any goods that need to be uh, liberated. That need to A be... customer, welcome. Yeah, I'm welcome. Thanks. Thanks for that, buddy. Do you have any goods that need to be liberated? I guess not. It's unfortunate. Not even a credit chip laying around or anything. Where the hell is his cash register? 
What kind of business is this guy running? He doesn't have a cash register. Or a computer, or any other form of... Hmm... I don't trust it. No price lists end up anywhere. Maybe this guy's just giving stuff away. What's that say? La Cause, Montreal. Oh, it's a it's a fashion outfit, I guess. We've got drinks here at the restaurace. Restorace! It's when you and other places of fine dining compete to see who's fastest. What's up, broom guy? People are lucky that I am an honest man. The things I could blackmail them for. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're prone. You're uh, privy to all kinds of secrets while you're pushing that broom, pal. Janitors know all the dirty secrets. Literally, <clears throat> we like hotel maids that way. We serve naturals only. That is very rude. I do not like that. There's Moria and Girls, Mastersvik. But I can't go in there, unfortunately. I can jump on this. I can jump over here. Hello. You look just like those terrorists, Tiv. That's fucked up. Excuse me, I have a call to make. I have a place to be that doesn't involve being by some profiling ass bigot. Nice hardware. I can get you a great price for those arms if you ever decide to switch to regular prosthetics. No, my arms are fucking super rad. I would never switch to anything. Lots of people are getting rid of their augmentations. Reduced mobility is a small price to pay for re-entering society. Fuck a bunch of that. I wish I knew what the next terrorist target was going to be. When the Lisbon water filtration plant got hit, bottled water sales skyrocketed. I'm glad you want to profiteer over the uh, pain and suffering and horror of others. That's great, buddy. The safest investment right now is weapons manufacturing. Cops are always going to need bigger and better guns. Now we got ourselves a fucking humanitarian here. Alright. They got some fucking dope music coming out of this place. That's weird. Smart vision mode blocks out the music. Enough problems already. What the hell is I'm sorry, but I can't have you standing too close to the checkpoint. Especially since, uh, well, you know. <laughs> no? Not too close, huh? What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <clears throat> Enough problems already. Already. How about you, pal? Augy tady většinou vídám v noci, když je gengy vyženou z chudý čtvrti. Ale takový jako tebe ne. Ty jsi oh, I am something special. Extra. Orange level! Here's an alarm. Wait. I saw an alarm here a second ago. Where'd it go? Not much going on. Cabaret. Map of Prague. We've seen this, Chubb versus Butch, uh -huh. the uh, heavy metal fighting championship, Og versus Og. Ready to, he's, that guy's got a cyber <sighs> jaw. What's up with that? Oh look, it's a bench that doesn't say naturals only. Ogs can use this bench, how fucking kind of them. What's this place? It's Rose's Garden. Vegetarian skak. Oh, it's a vegetarian kitchen, I suppose that means. Looks like a nice little place. There's an ebook. Just got through another what round of they? layoffs at the office. I think they've cut the workforce by 25% in the last two years. Still expect us to get all our projects completed on time, though. Yeah, I've heard that that's a problem for some of you people. All right, ebook. Let's read it. Listen. Santo, rise of a corpo nation. This is the people that are building. Uh, that are building, what do you call it, Rabia. Birth of a giant. Today, the Santo Group, New York Stock Exchange, SVE, is acknowledged as the largest transnational in the world, 
With an employee base of over 5 million people worldwide, 110 countries, and an economy larger than most countries. Their interests range from agriculture to environmental services, but mostly they specialize in infrastructure development and resource management. This giant, however, was born from humbler beginnings. Santo was formed in France in the early 1970s as a waste management company. They barely kept their head above water, stinky water, with small garbage collection contracts and construction projects. In the late 1970s, Santo... I jumped the gun there. Santo won a contract to partially rebuild the crumbling Paris sewer system, despite grumblings of bid undercutting. More controversy followed. Union concerns questioned their use of cheap immigrant labor, while rumors of cheap materials swirled through the media. The project was a success, though, and the company parlayed its earnings into a number of water treatment and supply contracts throughout France and neighboring countries. The contracts proved to be quite lucrative. And now they're a fucking big deal. The largest transnational in the world. That's, that's a hell of a company, right there. Five million employees. So Santo's not just some schmucks building this place. They're like, a big fucking deal. They're the biggest company. Well, these people are selling some very wholesome looking stuff. I would fucking come eat at this place. I would. I totes would. Now, while I'm here, I should probably make sure you don't have any dangerous contraband. Whatever you want, I can get. Cheap, high quality. That's what I like, is some cheap, high quality stuff. Come on, I do not have all day. Other customers. Really? Really? Which other customers are you talking about? Are you talking about this person? They seem to be fine. Nothing there. A customer. What the hell is this? Not much going on. I'm going in the back of your place. I'm pressing F1 to see if there's hidden stuff in the walls. A lot of plants right there. There's a buzzing thing right there. Here we go. Terrassa. Oh, the terrace probably is what that means. What garbage? I'm a master of languages. Alright. Oh, it's a door I can open. Oh yeah, here's the uh, the terrace in question. Heater. Huh, cool. What today? What the hell is this? How are you enjoying the terrace, ma'am? Ja bych to normálně nedělala, ale musím říct, že je strašný, jak s váma augmentovanýma zacházejí. Doufám, že Santova podpůrná iniciativa na to Wow, a pro og. bych mohla udělat víc než jen doufám. This is one of the very few people that hasn't had something shitty to say to us. Kdybychom z toho vyšechovali vládu, myslím, že Rabie by byl skvělej krok ku předu pro nás všechny. Nejen pro Augy. Podívejte, co se stalo, když Santovi sebrali útulek. Golem City. Oh, so the útulek complex is what it was originally called. It was built by Santo as a place for Augs to live, and it was probably okay. But then it was taken away by the government or whatever, and then it became like a super ghetto concentration camp, Golem City or whatever. All right. The story is starting to piece itself together now. Hold on. Hold on. No, damn it, trash can. Don't be that guy. It's your turn to buy the coffee. Oh, I can get on the roof. That is so cool. I was like, I wonder if I can get on that roof. And I can. But first, we'll talk to civilian here. I always go to the same checkpoint. The woman there is very nice. Is she? At some checkpoints, they turn people already. away just because they think it's funny. Yeah, it's well, fucked this up. Is interesting. That shit ain't cool. I love that I can jump up on a open door as a as a form of place to stand. All right, I managed to get up on the roof. Where am I? Okay, this is Rose's garden. What today? I like Rose's garden. It seems like a nice place. 
woman behind the counter might have been a bit brusque with me, but... More beer! Man, there's a lot of beer in this game. And, and other booze. I would say there's at least twice as much booze in this game as there is in Human Revolution. Double the booze. I mean, I can't say that for sure, but... It's not going to let me get up there. There's nothing up there. That's just a normal roof. There's an e-book, though. E-e-book. E-e-book. E-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-
Man, they don't really have anything in this place. Well, I guess I did find a bio cell in here. Never mind. What is that? It's a tripod. It's a pair of tripods. What are they for? Are they for cameras? Is this a photographer? Oh, that looks like a... What is that? Of course I thought it was a lighting thing, but now I think it's some kind of like satellite dish type thing. I don't know. Oh, shit. Sorry, knocked over all your books. My bad. My bad. These things happen. Alright, so they have that weird thing on the wall, which probably moves aside a fake painting or something and reveals a safe. That's what I'm guessing. Let's see what we can learn about this person by reading their uh, emails and shit. Ah, it is a photographer. Madame Photographe. I assume that's not her name. That's probably the name of her business or whatever. All right, well, let's go ahead and reveal. And there's a data store, so we'll make sure to get that. And then we're gonna need to go this way. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Come on, Access come on. Granted. Got it, and I got the 75 credits. Hacking Pro. Alright, report data from encrypted to Madame Photograph. We received your last surveillance package. Oh, she's not just a photographer. She's like... Maybe she's like an investigator or, or a spy of some kind. She's doing surveillance. Running down the unknowns in the photographs. If anything pertinent hits, we will update you with required actions. In the meantime, keep trailing the girl and the watcher will handle the main subject. What is this about? We just stumbled into some conspiracy shit. Saito! Climbs into chat using refrigerator. I just climbed into an apartment that I got my way into and I found a refrigerator inside. And do you want to guess what I did with this refrigerator? Do you want to guess? Keep trailing the girl and the watcher will handle the main subject. And we just discovered that this person is investigating someone or spying on someone. Interesting. Who's the girl? More importantly, who's the watcher? When they have a name like the watcher and it's capitalized, you know that's some serious shit. Threw it off the balcony? Yes! How'd you know, Saito? That's amazing. You're like a you're like a fucking soothsayer or something. In Prague soon. Occasional visitor to Madame Photograph. I've been asked to return to Prague to evaluate assets. With regards to the main subject in particular, I'll need medical records, reports, everything as recent as possible. You'll have to ask the Watcher for those, I imagine. Once you have them, leave them somewhere safe. As always, the storage unit is my preference. I'm very surprised that they didn't just throw in a random code here. The storage unit, you remember the code, it's 8172 or whatever. Then clean the apartment and get yourself a hotel. Also, the refrigerator is to be the refrigerator is to be stocked with an assortment of organic juices and there should be fresh fruit. All this goddamn travel is drying me out. I've got bad news for you about the refrigerator, occasional visitor. I don't think you're going to find it to your liking. So she's some kind of spy or something. Interesting. Yeah, the refrigerator um well, it's over there. He kind of ended up over there somehow. Alright, so the one other thing we can check out in this apartment is this curious panel on the wall. This curious terminal. Which I'm assuming is going to open up some sort of hidden safe or something. Like behind one of these paintings or... I don't know. I'm going to check it out though. Anyway, good to see you, Saito. How you doing? I just started about 20 minutes ago. Ooh, rating 5 on this one, so they're not fucking around here. Alright. Well, there's a couple data stores, but I don't know if I'll really be able to get them, given look at how high the ratings on these nodes are. Might not really be able to... Let me see, what do I have for... I have a data scan. 
Overclock, reveal, and stealth. And do I really have 18 stopworms? Oh, huh, well, shit, I'll just use some stopworms. Damn, son. And 13 nukes, really. Alright, let's go. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. No, don't take that one yet. Don't take that one yet. Okay, this is going to beat that one. Good. I didn't even need you to stop for him. That was actually much easier than it looked. 105 extra XP and 150 extra credits. I will take it. You're hoping you finally get some free time to get back to blood and wine tomorrow? Yeah, well, good luck with that. I hope you do. I'm surprised you um, haven't finished it yet. Been really busy, I guess, eh? Jensen is the most professional of double agents. I'm good. Yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I thought so. It opened up this... Oh, get away, gun. Let's not get too overzealous here. A breach software. Ooh, confidential medical report. <gasps> oh my god, this is plot relevant. This isn't just some random apartment we broke into. Do you see what that says right there? The subject that she's following or whatever is me, Adam Jensen. Oh my gosh. This, this person... Wait a minute. Oh, that's a Task Force 29 logo on the file, too. So how did she get this file? Who in Task Force 29 gave my fucking file to this random spy lady? What's going on here? Conspiracy! You miss your free time so much? Yeah, not having free time would kill me. I remember back years, years, years ago when I had a different sort of life where I worked and stuff. I remember having a job and working shit tons of hours and never having free time. And I really, really hated it. Really hated it. I mean, it was nice having a lot of money. But I never got to really spend that money on anything because I was always working. Alright, a confidential report containing Adam Jensen's medical history. All right, so this is plot relevant. This is an important apartment. This isn't just some random place I came into. Cool. Why does this person have my medical history? All right. Well, I'm glad I uh, broke into this place then. I don't even feel bad about throwing your fucking refrigerator outside because you're spying on me. I'll throw your studio bag out there too. I'll throw your studio bag on the opposite roof and you'll it'll never be seen again. Hope you didn't have anything important in that bag. Ha ha! Alright, so... Now, where I was, I was over here, I was on this roof, I came from up, up here, I came from on top of this restaurant thing over here. So then I came over here and I looked and I saw that I could get to that apartment. And... That is the other entrance to our base right there. The side entrance to Brajadovo's where we work. Well, I mean, that that's the front for where we work. So I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's a st oh, there's storage units here. Well, hello. Hello to you storage units. We're going to have a little talk, especially since there's no one around to witness me. Witness me. Not only did I throw it to the opposite roof, I caused it to phase through the ceiling. Adam Jensen really does have some scary hogs. <laughs> yeah, he does. Orange level, motherfucker. Orange level. Alright, let's 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 hack some stuff. I kind of ha- Ah, oh, I can't see this one. I hate when I can't see him. Mm. Alright, let's reveal. I wish I could get more reveal softwares, because they seem like the most valuable ones. Wow, this one's big. There's a thing. I can get to the red. Maybe I should just go for the red. It's all twos all the way, so that's only a 15% chance of detection on each one. If there's not a firewall hidden somewhere along here. What if I use a data scan for the lulls? That's supposed to show me firewalls, but it hasn't really worked out for that well for me in the past. Because I've used those before and it didn't fucking show me any firewalls. 
So I don't I don't know. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I got the red, I got the 90 credits. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could craft the software types. Although I think that tech shop where I sold a bunch of stuff, Tech Noir, I think they sold software. So I could probably buy... I didn't buy any from them. I could probably buy just reveal ones, because those seem to be the ones that I'll end up using the most. Oh, wow. Okay, this is that This is that spy lady's storage unit. Because she had, she had one of those things in her apartment. And this is obviously a whole bunch of, you know, spy looking shit going on in here. Oh yeah? How about this studio bag? Hope you didn't have anything too important in here. Wait. No. Wait. There. Get out of here, box. Oh! Look what I found! Credit chip, explorer. Crafting parts, I'll take. Gy oh, nice. Gyroscopic regulator, that's worth some money. A pistol. Yeah, this is a fucking covert operative of some kind. This is not just an investigator. Alright, so what are these pictures of? Limb clinic. A lot of them seem to just kind of be random places. That's my apartment building. That's Zelen right there. That's Adam's apartment building. Hmm. Recycling bin with that mark on it. That mark appears all over the place. Oh! Secret passage! Crazy! Rock pull thing! More crafting parts down there. Get out of here, trash bin. You're not going to be printing shit. It bounced. Well, I'm fairly certain that printer is not operable anymore. Alright, so let's press the secret rock. Oh, it doesn't open up a passage. It's just, it's just a hiding place, but that's fine. Pocket secretary. From th Oh, the watcher! The mysterious watcher! To Madame Photograph. RE file request. I got what files I could on the subject without raising any alarms. They're not as recent as the visitor wanted, but it will have to do for now. Bad day. Dropped my pee sec. It's clean, don't worry. But I thought I had eyes on me, so I left the files in the safe in the apartment instead. Let the visitor know that the code to the safe is 3608. Ah, that's the safe that I just hacked. This is cool. I love finding, like, pieces of conspiracies and stuff and having to, like, having to, like, piece stuff together over time. Figure out who these people are. Alright. Well, in the interest of investigating the this conspiracy, I'd better just go ahead and break into this other storage shed as well. You know. I've got the code to it. I don't need no stink ink code. Oh, man, another reveal situation. All right, let's use it. This one's a pretty big one. There's... Mmm. There's no data stores in here. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go around, though, a long way to get to that green. Come on, you can do it. Access granted. All right, I did it. Having weird connection issues. Okay, hopefully you get that sorted out, Saito. So, get out of here, box. Aha! 
Oh, even more weird files and records and stuff. Alright, what are those? Those look ominous. Some sort of strange bags with weird scorpion logos on them. And this is a whole big thing of uh, booze. Are those bags of drugs? Neon inhalers? This is like the drug dealer's stash. Oh, I can put a laser sight on my pistol now! Yes, I've been wanting one of those. I was just thinking about even going and buying one. Alright, I've read that before. Let's combine it with my pistol. Yeah! Now my pistol has a dot sight as well. Man, that dot's way over there, huh? Hold on, let's see. Does the pistol really have this much range? Apparently. Apparently it has all kind of range. I'm so happy to have a laser sight for my pistol. I really am. Let's just get the stun gun back out. I feel like upgrading my pistol some more. I feel like upgrading it some more. Ammo capacity. Up to 27 is maxed out. Damage capacity. 20, not maxed out. Fuck it, I, I'm gonna spend some parts. I give a fuck. I'm gonna make my pistol badass. Ooh, now that's maxed out at 25. So all that's left to max out is rate of fire. And I've got the laser sight. And the silencer. And the burst fire. So this thing's, yeah, this pistol's gonna be a badass. Now I'm down to 110 parts, which isn't, which isn't ideal, but that's okay. I can get more parts. What is all this? Oh, those are guns! These are crates of guns and stuff. And what are these? Blood bags? What the fuck kind of storage unit is this? Aha! Crafting parts hidden under the desk. Man, I feel so clever for looking down there. Alright, Pocket Secretary will maybe give me some insight into what this storage unit's all about. Son of a Ganada! At genmail.mail to Igor's... Wait, Igor? At the family. Okay, so this is the this is the Diwali's. This is Diwali crime, so no wonder it's, it's like drugs and guns and stuff. So, Igor wrote to Son of a Ganada two things. Good job, R.E. Warsaw. That's Poland. Isn't it? I'll let Radich know. We'll still be moving weapons from the Prague Cops too, though, right? That arrangement is powering more than a few handshakes, so we need to know if there's going to be a problem. Do we need another middleman to help out, or you're good? Yefim set up a second VIP in the Palisade using 0411, so any credit drops or bonus prizes need to go in that one from now on. Ah, another fucking bank box. Better now? That Good to hear, Saito. I'm glad. I just got a laser sight for my pistol. I think that's all you really missed. And I discovered this storage shit is full of lots of crime paraphernalia. Alright, and then... Son of a Ganada replied to Igor... No need for help. Shit's still coming through from the PCR. It's just getting harder to keep the same volume. Trust me, I'm doing what I can. What's good about this Kaczynski guy in Warsaw is he says they're seeing a lot of older military hardware too, which can still be interesting as well as the usual. Arrangement stays the same. If I get to the locker before the weekend, I'll leave you some stuff to look through. NB. NB. Do we know who NB is? I don't think we do. But we know those guys are part of the Diwali's, because one, one of the email addresses is at the family, and that's what the Diwali's use. Take me some ammo. Yeah, those are guns in there, and those are bags of... I don't know what, but I assume it's drugs. 
And booze. Lots of booze. Lots of booze. And a baseball bat. Alright. Nico Bellic, this is what he's doing after GTA 4. Nice. I've never actually played any of the GTA games, but I am familiar with who Nico Bellic is. I've upgraded my pistol several times as well. It's a badass now. It holds 27 shots. It's on burst fire. It's got that little laser dot. And it's and it's got a silencer. And I've also maxed out its ammo capacity as well as its damage output. So all that's left to upgrade on it is rate of fire. But I'm... Fuck it. Go. Alright, now I'm really out of parts. I'm going to get my pistol totally maxed out, though, because it's probably it and the tri and the trank rifle and the stun gun are probably the only three weapons I'll use in the whole playthrough, just like I just did in Deus Ex Human Revolution on my second playthrough of it. And then I'll use stuff like the Tesla AUG and the, you know, and my obviously my takedowns and stuff. I wish this game had trank rounds for the pistol, like, it, like you can get in, um, like you can get in Alpha Protocol. That would be awesome if you could get trank rounds for the pistol. At least they upgraded it now so you can get EMP rounds for the pistol, so that makes gives it some extra utility. You're bored? What should you do? What's up, Jen? Good to see ya. Hi. What you should do is, uh, well, obviously, watch my stream. I mean, that's, that's what everyone should do. Watch this. I can pick up garbage bins. I can pick up garbage bins and throw them onto rooftops. I mean... Watch, I can do it again. Oh, look at this huge dumpster. Surely I can't pick this thing up and throw it on a rooftop. Okay, I couldn't quite get it on the rooftop. Hold on. No. If I jump first? Oh, it won't let me jump while holding the garbage thing. You ever just watch streams? Well, you know, do something else super fun at the same time. Like, play a game or... I don't know, um... Do another fun thing. What do people do for fun? I don't even know what normal people do for fun. For me, fun is pretty much hang out and talk to myself a whole bunch. <laughs> so I guess that's my advice. Hang out and talk to yourself a whole bunch. Man, I could stock these dumpsters in this refrigerator that I threw down from that apartment up there. I could stock stack these up and really... But I don't think there's anywhere else I can actually get to. Yeah, all of those all those windows are grayed out. They're not They're not accessible. Just watching dick around in games. Yeah. I'm I'm all about dicking around in games, as you can see. Alright, so here's a little thingy I can whoop. Don't mind me, who are you? Yeah, I speak Czech, yeah. Alright, well, that's fucked up. Now, let's say I broke into this car trunk right here while these cops are standing here. I assume nothing bad will happen. I guess no alarm equals no crime. You'll work. I'm the best? Around! Nothing's ever gonna keep you down! You're the best! Around! No, that's probably not what you meant. Um, I'm just obsessed with moving objects around. We've already talked to these cops. Alright. I wish I could join the heavy metal fighting championship. I think Adam would fuck some shit up in there. These are terrible cops. Well, yeah. I mean, we've already established that every cop in this city except for one is corrupt. Naturals only. I can't believe they have benches that I'm not allowed to sit on. And yet, here I am. Orange level, motherfucker. Here I am. Hi. That sounded like fuck off in whatever language you're speaking. I'm 
I'm not a terrorist, for the love of God. I work for Interpol. I'm a counter-terrorist. I'm a counter-terrorist! I mean, you can't really tell, considering I just walk around... Oh, we've already talked to this guy. Take my advice. If you were thinking about shooting... Yeah, he's not happy with our service. He's not happy with our service. What is this all about? This is very strange right here. The screen's just kind of barely lighting up in a, in a very... Strange pattern. Zoobotics. Oh, they're building animals. Robot animals. That's so cool. I hope we can go visit that. It's the acclaimed public event. But where is it? Oh, it's in London. We're not going to get to go to London. No, we're not going to get to see Zoobotics, I have a feeling. A wrench is a tool, not a human being. That's fucked up. Panzers burn in hell. That's... Oh, this must be a bench that's uh, allowed for... That must mean uh, Augs or something. This must be a bench that's allowed for Augs. Because this guy's an Aug and he's sitting on it. And somebody fucking came over here and defaced it by saying Hansers burn in hell. Man. I do not appreciate the way these people treat my people. Clanks are cancer. It's rude. It's just rude. We have feelings, you know. How do you know I'm American? I could be Canadian. Look, now I look American. Oh yeah, the hive. Good call, Saito. It is kind of like that. Alright, what's up, civilian? I know, right? That's what I've been saying, bro. That's some bullshit. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're just saying what we're all thinking, civilian. What's up, broom pusher? I can see you're doing a great fucking job, by the way. Look, oh yeah, your cleaning is fucking top level. This shit's ace. Man, you don't let a speck fucking get away from you, do you? Need directions to where somebody knows how to clean. Anonymous! Hey, how you doing? Good to see ya. What's going on? Alright, what are these people up to? I used to own three patents until they were stolen from me. I used to own a bicycle and then it was stolen from me, so I know how you feel. I watch the rich people walk by all day, oblivious. I'm just waiting for my chance. Right, Jen? Oh my god. If augs if these kind of augmentations come out, like cybernetic body parts for real, and I could somehow get them, you know, like in within the realm of my financial reality, I would totally do it. If they're like, we want to test these out, come and be a test subject and we'll replace your fucking limbs and eyes and shit with, with uh, cybernetic parts and we'll give them to you for free. I would sign up for that shit. I would totes sign up for that shit. The bench for naturals is spotless, I know, right? God damn it. <laughs> this place is fucked up. Someone at work came up with the term nouveau pauvre. Yeah, that's funny. We tried to laugh it off, but it seems to apply to us more and more each day. Uh, Alright, I hate to tell you, but you're not poor. I can look at your clothes and the part of town you're in. You don't really know what poor is, lady. No, me Maglitsky. Oh, we already talked to her and she was rude. All right, what's going on in here? Uh, you've got a lot of nerve showing your face in public after what you animals did on that train station. Hmm. Real people died in that terrorist attack, not subhuman freaks like you. I'm a real person. If I wasn't a real person, if I wasn't a real person, bro, I would do this. Who is supposed See, to See, that's this? what I would do if I wasn't a real person. <laughs> But, I am a real person, so I don't do things like that. I don't do things like that. Because I have human feelings and values and morals.
<laughs> Jen. <laughs> what? Sometimes I just have to remind myself of the power that I wield and the great responsibility that comes along with it. Are you some kind of activist or something? Get a job. Leave me the hell alone. What's up? Go away, or I'll call a cop. They won't get here in time to save you. Wait, Die. that was very menacing. Rust to death. Die, Rust. God, these people. These people. You shot them. Well, no, I didn't. Look, they're right here. They're perfectly fine. Obviously, I didn't shoot them. It was just a figment of your imagination. Hey, y'all, y'all. You know what? These motherfuckers with their clean. You know what? 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 These motherfuckers with their clean fucking naturals only bench? There. Wait, where the fuck did that thing go? There. 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 You can fucking have a natural garbage bin on your bench, motherfuckers. Programming is telling you you have You could be right, Anonymous. Until he doesn't and you murder everyone by Illuminati's command. That wouldn't even surprise me, honestly. Would not even surprise me if they pulled some shit like that. Alright, can I get to anywhere? What is the point of this dumb little courtyard? Augmented entrance? That's fucked. Oh, I see. I can go in this window. Oh, this just leads in the side entrance to our fucking front business for our that we Feels work. Like this is our is Okay, in that case, what is the point of having a side entrance even into our Maybe it will come into play later when some shit's going down. Hop. Oh, watch out, folks. Look, I'm sorry I didn't call you back right away. Oh, look. Look at this clean naturals only bench. That's nice. Yeah. You can sit there with a the fucking garbage bin. I just don't like the way they treat my people. Josiah does the humane thing. He enacts horrific revenge fantasies and then uses his power over time and space to escape the consequences. Dude, honestly, if I had the power in real life to rewind time, a la make a save game and reload it anytime I want, I would do some horrible shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would do some horrible shit and then just to see what happens and then rewind time and be like, what? No, I didn't do that. I'm good. God, I would abuse the hell out of that power. It would be ugly. It would be a scary time. Um, but, but no, I mean, but I'm a good person. What? You wouldn't need to sit, your bionic legs would mean you never get tired, but also kick through all the doors for fun. I know, right? That's what makes me sad. In this game, you have bionic legs and you can't kick through doors. You can punch through locks and punch through walls. Actually, the punching through walls is really fun. But you can't kick through doors. Oh, we've already been over here. This is where the refrigerator is. Can I get the refrigerator out of here? I don't think so. <sighs> what if you'd lose the memory when you load? Well, that'd be fine. I guess. I don't know. It, it wouldn't matter one way or another. Yeah, you'd get into a permanent loop of murdering people who make poor interiors. Those douchey chairs, dude. Those douchey chairs are not okay. Oh yeah? I just use my cyber legs to jump up on top of a fucking billboard. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm using my cyber legs to jump much higher than a normal person can jump. No, I don't have a permit. What are you gonna do? You want to see my other arcs? Because one of them is blade arms, motherfucker. Blade arms. Blade arms, I say. Hey, hey, I see you two standing underneath this thing. You know what's cooler than standing underneath that thing? Jumping on top of it! I'm up on your shit. Jumping with my cyber legs. You guys can't do this. 
because you have normal weak flesh legs. Okay, anyway, so that was my, I just went a little berserk there. You know a lady who wrote a time travel story where the things you do in the past have no consequences on the real timeline? Sem essentially you open up a little scenario that collapses as soon as- That sounds cool. Oh yeah, people would do some messed up shit. I'm telling you, I would do some messed up shit. I would. I would not be a good person if I had that power. Augmented entrance in the back. Alright. Augmented entrance in the back. Seriously? Do you really want to antagonize people that can, like, rip your arms off and stuff with their super cyber strength? Basically, plot of the game Time Shift. I've never heard of Time Shift. We can all be baby-killing human traffickers who got their hands on a rewinding... Now look, if I was... I still wouldn't human traffic. I still wouldn't enslave anyone. I still wouldn't rape anyone. I still wouldn't... There's things I still wouldn't do even if I could rewind time. I still wouldn't, like, torture children or anything. I love how I qualified that. I wouldn't torture children, I just said. Do you understand how fucked up that statement is? Because one, it implies that I would torture non-children, and it also implies I would do other things this to children less severe than torture. <laughs> I wouldn't torture children. I wouldn't though. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't torture children. That'd be fucked up. I can't I can't pretend that I wouldn't kill children once in a while. Again, with the rewinding of time, so it didn't really happen. Let's not... Yes. You know, I'm not a monster. I should have kept trying, but... Anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. So in our next one, we will continue exploring Prague on our way over to the Limb Clinic. is where we're trying to actually get to right now. I'm just exploring all the stuff along the way. And uh, it's good times. But that's all the time we have for this one, so thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Deus Ex Mankind Divided.